let's transform this unused space into a fully functional breakfast nook. First, we started by building the built-in bench. The plan for this bench was to be the main seating for this area and also provide extra storage. The base of the frame was built out of two by fours. We attached the base frame to the wall and also directly into the floor so that it was nice and secure. This is what the frame looked like after it was all finished. You can see that we left a spot for a vent extender. Next, I ripped plywood to cover the base frame. To attach the lid to the built-in bench, we used a long piano hinge. I really love all the extra storage this is gonna provide and it's a great place for Eli to take his time outs in. Kidding, totally kidding, please don't DM me. Once everything was built, I attached new baseboard and also this one by two strip of trim work to make it look just a little bit more finished. And this is why I hoard all of the extra materials from projects, y'all, because I had just enough extra shiplap from our kitchen backsplash project to cover the entire front of this built-in bench. Now I feel like it really flows with the rest of the kitchen. The best part is I only had to rip one little tiny piece at the end. Once all the shiplap was attached, I primed the entire thing with two coats of primer and then painted it this gorgeous rosemary green by Sherwin-Williams. Now that the built-in bench is done, we can move on to the lighting. I really wanted some cool sconce lighting, but obviously I didn't want to hardwire anything in. So I'm going to show you how we took these regular sconces and then made them turn on with a switch without having to hardwire a thing. I installed the sconces just like normal using drywall screws to attach them to the wall. Then I ninja chopped some cord covers to hide the cord that will be going into the built-in bench. These ones are really great because they just attach to the wall with a little sticky back and they're paintable. Now here comes the real magic. I use this switch and outlet that are wirelessly controlled by some kind of witchcraft to turn on the sconces from this switch. Ta-da, now we have built-in breakfast nook lighting, but we're not done y'all. Let's make over this $200 Facebook Marketplace table. I started by priming the entire tabletop with a light layer of primer. While that dried, I painted the base in alabaster. After the primer layer was dry, I started to add the wood grain using gel stain and my rubber wood grain tool. Once the wood grain layer was dry, I added another two layers of stain, then followed it up with sealer. The chairs also got painted alabaster. And that's it, no more wasted space. Now we have a fully functional breakfast nook with additional storage, and I absolutely love it. 